subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. When you get this device, it's going to say the speed you need. And oh boy, does it have the speed you need. But as humans, we always are trying to push the boundaries and get a little bit more. And in this case, a little bit more out of our devices. If we didn't, we would still be using phones like this, the flippery days of Motorola Razor. Or maybe we would still be using you know, Android phones like this back in the day if we didn't want to improve things. Or maybe if you're an Apple fan, we'd be using just the old small iPhone. We wouldn't be at the, you know, notch iPhone 10 that we're at today. But a supreme state of beasting day in and day out. What I mean here in this video is the supreme state of performance. And let me crush the haters real quick. It's a rainy day. I don't got time for you. And they're going to say, hey, wise guy, I got an idea. Why don't you just buy a OnePlus 6? Done. Beast mode. You don't even have to watch any of this video. Another one. Why would I want to do all of that to my OnePlus 6? 8 gigs of RAM. It runs fine the way it is. Why watch a video about tips and tricks? Basically, then, if you won't, don't want to do anything to your device, you just kind of contradicted yourself right there and lastly i know everything that you said in this video you taught me nothing well congratulations i taught you nothing you are a seasoned android user okay so for the first tip on how to activate beast mode on the one plus six i'm going to go ahead and enable developer options on the device this is a obvious one that i point out in pretty much all of my android beast mode videos we're going to go down to about phone and then we're going to find the build number now on your device it's all the way at the bottom so just click this multiple times it's like seven times until it enables and then above the system update section you're going to see developer options click this and we're going to scroll down until we find animations now i have them at 0.5 this is where i want you guys to put them out of the box the one plus six is at one x this makes it about 50 percent faster feeling on the day-to-day -day. now if you want to go all out you can turn them off but if you do that, what's going to happen is that you get a choppier looking animation. So I recommend 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And number two is to utilize Nova Launcher and its various settings. So this is an application you could download in the App Store, the Nova Launcher. Let's go ahead and enable that as our default launcher. Now, the reason why I enable this as my launcher on the OnePlus is because while OnePlus's launcher is fantastic, it's smooth, it's just fine. This one's a little bit faster when you do customize the look and feel and change the animation speed to faster than light. The scrolling speed as well is really what's noticeable. It's just a faster scroll than what you get on OnePlus's launcher. So to me, the Nova launcher makes this phone feel a little bit faster and makes the animations fly in a little bit quicker than what you get on Oxygen OS's launcher. In addition to that, in the settings of Nova, you can go to gestures and input. Now you will have to be a Prime member for this and you can go ahead and change things like double tap to turn the screen off and like just swipe gestures for getting into applications. Those are like shortcuts across the UI and you could say, okay, Google, from basically any you know spot i'm sorry if i had activated your phone right now probably did but going home here if you double tap you can now just turn off the screen like that now you could always just double tap to turn it on but that's a way to turn it off here now with nova launcher next up is to turn on double tap to turn the screen off with the button at the bottom on the device now if you have gestures on you're not going to be able to use this but if you have the navigation bar enabled you can go ahead and hit the home button and turn off screen now why this is useful is whenever you're an application if you need to quickly turn off your phone you just double tap that button and you're good to go so just like that and it doesn't matter where you're at now with nova launcher you have to be on the home screen but with this enabled you can turn that device off you know very quickly no matter where you're at so that's a really good feature as well and that's number three on how to activate beast mode and number four is to disable the background applications that are going on now we're going to go into the applications and settings here under personal we're going to go to the application list and now what you're going to do is locate applications that are you know not being used by you quite a bit so for example i'm sure not all of you are using each one of these google play services maybe you're you know a spotify user you don't use google play music so you can go ahead and disable that application or maybe you use netflix you never watch google play and tvs but you can't uninstall this but you can disable it which makes it not collect any data or use any background resources so that can make your phone just a little bit faster here on the day to day so go through your applications and find the ones you're not using that you can't uninstall and disable those and number five is to deep clear recent applications so how do we do this we're going to go into settings once again scroll down till you get to system settings 
Then we're going to go into advanced and we scroll down and we go to recent app management in there. We're going to hit deep clear. Now what this does is it's going to go ahead and clear the background processes, which may, you know, it says it right there what it does, but basically no background processes. It's not just clearing the task list like you would do normally. It's actually going to clear the background process. So this can definitely speed it up. And I've been running this for my one plus six. Next up is to disable auto sync in your accounts because why do you need to auto sync data when you're not even using the application? I never understood this, but some people might, you know, use applications and don't really want to do any refreshing or anything like that. But every time you go into an app, it kind of refreshes anyway. So we don't need this hogging up our resources. So you just turn this off in accounts and uh, you could just go into the applications to refresh the data yourself. So that saves a little bit of the phone working in the background once again. And number seven is to clear the memory and RAM. So we're gonna do this by going into settings. We're gonna locate storage. So let's go to storage and memory. And in memory, we're gonna go ahead and see memory used by apps. And in memory used by apps, you're gonna see the applications that are using the most of your RAM on your device. Now, I don't have that much installed on my device, but I'm sure a lot of OnePlus users are heavy users. So when you start using a lot of games, they're gonna use up a lot of RAM. You're gonna go in here and you're just gonna clear that RAM frequently if you're a heavy user. If you're not, then you could just void this tip out. But if you're a heavy user, definitely utilize this one right here to keep it running smoothly and efficiently. Next up is to clear the cache. Again, this is in the storage settings. So we're gonna go into the storage back to storage and memory and we're going to go to applications and just clear out the cache like super mario run i played this a few days ago it's taken up a little bit of cache and we're just going to clear it here you know it's going to take a lot more the more you play that game so if you're playing it really heavily it's going to eat up a lot of cache on your device so you're going to want to do this you know rather frequently if you're doing a lot of gaming on this phone it's going to eat up into your storage and uh, that'll make your phone just stay running buttery smooth day in and day out now there's an alternative step to clearing the cache you can go ahead and volume down or volume up and power button and get into recovery but you have to decrypt the phone and then re-encrypt it so that's kind of a hassle and if you're not having performance issues i wouldn't really recommend doing it that way you could wipe the cache partition in that sense but just do the app application cache wiping and you should be fine for the most part. And number nine is developer options. Once again, we're going to go ahead and we're going to limit the background processes. So let's go to developer options all the way at the bottom under apps, background processes. We're going to put it at four at most. Now this is going to let it run four processes in the background at most, but at the same time, you're going to have less resources again. So basically what we've been doing a lot in this video is disabling things that in the background have to run all the time. Now I know you can argue you this phone is a beast that doesn't need to do that that's true it can handle all this but if you want it to run most efficient as possible this is definitely gonna jump start you to that goal and a number 10 is to change the display resolution so let's go down to developer options and scroll all the way down until we get to the smallest width and then we're going to put this at 320 or 340. now if you got bad eyes this will help you out as well because it actually makes the display much bigger now it's not just a personal preference this is actually less taxing on the gpu than at 410 so it makes it a little bit faster even though it looks really large a lot of people might not like that large look but at the same time, less taxing on the GPU. So let's go down here and put it back to 410 for the video, but keep that in mind, you can lower that width resolution DPI to make it a little bit faster. And lastly, just give it a restart once in a while. I mean, I recommend this for any phone. You wanna give it a restart every once in a while. Some people tend to leave their phones on forever and never shut them off unless they die, which I don't recommend because then the phone's not really getting a break. So go ahead and do that at least once a week, I would recommend. And that's it. That's the OnePlus 6, how to activate beast mode. In this video, you learned a bunch of ways to make this phone run a little bit snappier and keep it running efficiently throughout your use. Now, if you just got this phone, which you probably did because it's a pretty new phone, none of this really is gonna affect you too hard right now, but down the line, as you use this phone two, three, four years, a lot of these tips will keep this thing running like a champ each and every day. If you found this video helpful, enjoyable, entertaining, do me a favor, click that like button for me. If you have any tips, suggestions to keep the OnePlus running even more beastly, like rooting the phone, you have any custom ROM recommendations, drop it down below in the comment section and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well. Enjoy your OnePlus 6 and